Would the bags beneath my eyes be able to be filled with filler? I was told by another doctor it was too close to my eye for a filler, and she did not feel comfortable. Thank you for your question. You're asking if the bags under your eyes could be improved with the use of a filler, and you also mentioned that a doctor you uh, met with said that it was too close to the eye and they weren't comfortable. It's interesting you sent a photo with, um, with sunlight, what appears to be sunlight over your eyes because it appears to wash out a lot of the detail of the, the, the puffiness under your eyes. But with the assumption that you have a slight degree of puffiness, I can share with you what we do in our practice. Uh, I'm a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon. This means that I'm boarded or did an ophthalmology residency before doing specialty training in eyelid surgery. Uh, and so I'm a specialist and this is an area that we deal with a lot in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. What the question you're asking about fillers is, uh, is a very valid question and there's been growing popularity of the use of fillers to soften the appearance of under eye bags. In the right situation, it's a, the, the fillers are very, have a, a really good role. So with the expectation or understanding that the puffiness that you're dealing with is very slight, we do routinely use uh, fillers such as hyaluronic acid, um, such as Restylane, to place strategically in the tear trough area to soften the transition between the elevation of the puffiness and the hollowing of the valley and the area of the tear trough. Now, that being said, we also uh, routinely combine this with platelet-rich plasma. This is a dry from your own blood. It may not be indicated for you because your if your eyes are, your skin quality is good, then it's not necessarily uh, required, but in patients who do have issues with crepey skin quality, we combine this with platelet-rich plasma, which is, like as I mentioned, derived from your own blood, and it's a concentration of the healing and growth factors uh, associated with wound healing. We've been very successful in using platelet-rich plasma to improve skin texture and skin quality, especially with people with dark circles and under-eye hollows. And it's, it's a great synergy between the PRP and the uh, hyaluronic acid. It's very good that your doctor was honest with you. A lot of times doctors who aren't, who aren't comfortable working around the eye are better off not doing that. This is a delicate area. It is something that uh, when you are a specialist like myself, you're very comfortable with. But I could certainly understand a lot of people who are dermatologists or, or, or even general plastic surgeons, um, depending on what their practice focus is, um, don't necessarily work around the eyes. So I think you should find a doctor that is comfortable around the eyes, and certainly I think it is an option for you. So just meet with the right doctor that you think will um, has experience and can show you before and after examples so that you feel comfortable and then move forward. What's nice about hyaluronic acid or any other filler is it does break down and go away. So if you're not satis uh, satisfied with the result, either you can wait for the material to go away or there's actually an enzyme called hyaluronidase which can melt it away and get rid of it altogether. So with that being said, I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. And thank you for your question.